Welcome to Monopoly Stock. This is your host, Yes Monopoly. And today, we'll be talking about none other than HCMC. Today, we'll be talking about none other than HCMC. And thanks guys for the response last time. We had a good response, but not everybody watched the video has subscribed. So please subscribe and press that like button. Okay. Uh, so today we are doing a little bit different because all over the YouTube there are like hundreds of HCMC videos. But today what we are doing is a deep dive into the uh, case, into the infringement and everything. And I want you guys to be the judge about the case, about the about the whole infringement case and everything so that's what we're gonna do and then the final of the video we're gonna let you know our our opinion our channel opinion about the case and and as as it is we are not um, financial advisors but whatever we speak in the channel is our opinion only so so the topics today it's gonna be we'll be going deep dive analysis into the HCMC case and uh, the second one what we'll be talking about is the uh, is about the iq os product the real hero of this uh, uh, case the third one we'll be talking about is the uh, is the chronological order of the event what's taking place in these cases and how it is happening the fourth one we'll be, be talking about is going to be the uh, patent infringement and uh, uh, the next one will be the motion of extinction and uh, finally, it will be the differences, how PM and how HCMC is looking at the case, and and what are the key things in this in this case. So the so the the key things is two words, which is combustion and vaporization. You need to remember that, okay, throughout the video. So the next thing, uh, the final thing will be what is the advantage of. HCMC in this case. So let's go to the basic. Okay. So what is IQOS? IQOS is an alternative to smoking cigarette. The tobacco is heated instead of burnt by specially designed heated tobacco units. The units heat the tobacco just enough to release the nicotine tobacco vapor without burning the tobacco. So it's basically uh, like heating of the heating of the tobacco to release the vapor. Remember that, like that is happening, just releasing the vapor without burning the actual tobacco. Okay. So the next thing, what are the chronological order? What what has been having going on in this case? So first thing, on November 30, a complaint was filed by HCMC. Okay. On December 7, an electronic summons was issued to PM. Okay. That is Philip Morris. And on December 23rd, a motion of extension was filed by PM. Okay. On December 29th, a motion of extension was filed again by PM. Okay. On January 19th, a motion of extension was filed by PM again. Okay. So remember all these uh, chronological dates. Okay. What is happening? This is going to be important. Okay. And the next thing, the next uh, uh, thing is. Uh, uh, February 25th motion to dismiss the uh, uh, dismiss the whole case by PM it was filed by PM okay and on March 9th a joint motion of extension uh, to response was filed by HCMC and, and Philip Morris okay and and uh, on March 10th our uh, judge uh, Timothy C. Baden has given a deadline to HCMC to respond it by March 22nd well, I hope this is it's gonna be a good day, guys. Like you know, the March 22nd is my birthday, so I hope it's gonna be a great day, and we all gonna win big. Okay, so the next thing is to be replied by PM by April 16th. So these two dates are very important: March 22nd and uh, April 16th. So remember, uh, make sure you have these numbers in your calendar. Okay, so just keep it as a reminder because this is the, these two dates is gonna be very major for this case. Okay. So next, so let's go to the uh, beginning of this case. Where it started, what is the case about, and 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 each and every single bit of it. Okay. Well, I mean the main the main 
uh, essence of the like the the crux of the case. Okay, so so it says an electronic pipe comprising a battery and electronic module, a combustible material reservoir, and a heating element fixed in the combustible material reservoir. So there is a reservoir, there is a combustible material which heats up, which in turn heats up the tobacco, and and, and that that's what it is. So main thing here is combustion. Okay, in the HCMC. Okay, so we got to remember all this stuff. So there is a reservoir, there is a combustible material, and 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 the whole module of the whole cigarette. Okay, and and uh, the combustible material loaded into the combustible material reservoir wherein the pipe is structured to transmit an electronic current from the battery to the heating element, the heating element initiating a combustion reaction to the combustible material reservoir. Okay? And the next thing is states a, a method of least partially combusting a combustible material for inhalation. Okay? That is the tobacco or, or whatever it is there, right? So so that's the thing. So, so basically, it says providing an electronic pipe compressing of a battery, okay, uh, uh, and a module, a combustible uh, material reservoir, and a heating element fixed uh, in a combustible material reservoir. So that's all the part of the uh, uh, pattern, okay. So now let's let's uh, go to what uh, the PM has said. To motion of dismissal, okay. So uh, for the whole case on, on February 25th, right? So what it says is uh, uh, independent claim one is is not anticipated as strongly, which does not describe a combustible material reservoir, nor a heating element that initiates a combustion reaction within the reservoir. Conley is directed as the liquid vaporizer. So HCMC is the combustion. PM is a vaporizing, right? So that's the difference. Okay. So now we go into the dismissal thing. So what it says is, uh, uh, director as a liquid vaporizer, not a combustion device, and therefore would have no reservoir for combustion, the combustible material. Combustion is a chemical reaction upon heating, whereas the vaporization required by Conley is a phase change. So basically, what they're saying is combustion is a chemical reaction, but but uh, uh, vaporization is a phase change. So that's the difference, right? But I'm going to deep dive into what is combustion and what is vaporization, okay? So let's, let's go. So, so the distinction in purpose and effort dictates the structural differences. Conley uses a liquid solution contained in an absorbent material that is in, di in direct contact with a heating coil or a wire. So what they're saying instead of the car, uh, reservoir and the shop, they're using a heating coil. So, okay, so, uh, uh, which, which the HCMC is using the reservoir and these guys are using the heating coil, right, or a wire, which, okay, so, and, and the liquid impregna in, impregnated observant encapsulate the wire and when a charge is applied to the wire, okay, the liquid experiences a phase change to vapor. In present invention, the reservoir itself is heated by a wire, okay, which initiates a combustion reaction in the reservoir, which in turn heats the combustible material, the tobacco, which is the material can be tobacco or any other dry element contained in the combustible material reservoir. According to the, accordingly, absent a combustible material reservoir, Conley cannot and does not anticipate independent claim one or any other uh, dependent claims thereupon. So what they are saying is basically it doesn't have a uh, 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 reservoir, but it's gonna it is uh, uh, having a uh, uh, combustible reservoir as a coil or a wire. So that's what they're claiming to be, right? So so. Although, uh, and, and uh, the other thing what it says is, although the prior art teaches an electronic cigarette comprising multiple pipe sections and heating elements, however, a prior art document teach that electronic cigarette are intended to mimic the experience of smoking a combustible 
cigarette without the actual combustion of the tobacco. So basically, there, there, uh, this is all described in the uh, PM dismissal uh, of of the case. So, uh, so, so they are telling they are just like vaporizing the material, not like doing the combustion, which, which we're gonna look into that. Okay. So what uh, is the difference? between combustion and liquid vaporization right that's a, that's the main different that's the main crux of this case so that's what hcmc has to prove right so combustion can be simply defined as the process of burning something in this particular case which is the cannabis or tobacco or whatever vaporization on the other hand is slightly more complex process that encompasses a phase transition from liquid to vapor okay so but but most vaporization devices will heat the cannabis or the product just below the point of combustion okay so the temperatures are different for combustion and vaporization okay but also also there is a there it is interchange it is interchangeable so in a, not interchangeable in sense like there is no definitive point it depends upon the material right so that's that's the main thing which ranges between 180 to 190 uh, degrees. During the vaporization, you cannot actually have a chemical reaction to occur. So they're telling the 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 phase change is the important thing in the vaporization, but still it is <laughs> combustion, right? Okay. Similarly, during the combustion, you can actually have a phase change to occur. So as I said, it is there is there is uh, in the, in the vaporization there is a combustion, and in the combustion there is a uh, it can it can have a phase change to occur, so which is a part of of uh, vaporization, right? So, so the important part is chemical reaction. So, so what they're saying is, in the in the uh, uh, what, what the main difference is in the in the combustion there is more of chemical reaction, in the vaporization there is a change of phase phase. Okay, that's a, that's the thing that they're saying about but there is no uh, there is no actual temperature defined in this so what is the advantage going through this one in our opinion what is the advantage of this case so the advantage of HCMC in our opinion is PM did not provide the temperature at which the vaporization takes okay it's a simple temperature you can just put in the uh, uh, what temperature they're doing and everything they never mentioned it so why does it take so much time to just mention a simple fact? That's another thing, right? You got to think about that. Okay. Uh, they mentioned there is no no combustion in the methodology, but the process of heating element is a patent by HCMC, right? So they're telling there is no combustion happening in their thing, but still they're heating the uh, they're doing the coil heating. To get the vapor and, and even the whole whole uh, cigarette uh, compartment and everything, which is uh, uh, designed, by, which is uh, patented by HCMC, right? So also, just to like this is gonna be getting like so uh, 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 like like technical in this case because I mean it depends on the judge also, right? So so uh, um, um, that's the, that's the reason this is gonna be in a good faith for PM not to go to the not to go to the jury uh, jury because like like as you know like you know when it goes to jury it's always in the side of the underdogs right so that that sort of thing and also there is no big material difference between combustion and vaporization scientifically there are there are there are different scientifically there are different but there is no much material like in sense what temperature and what it becomes it depends upon different material right however both undergo the phase change and chemical reaction. So both the uh, vaporization as well as combustion, there is a chemical reaction as well as phase change, right? But whereas PM says it's only the phase change what they are using. I don't know where they are getting the heat uh, from, which is patented by HCMC, right? That's so, so if PM is so confident uh, on this infringement, why, why are they? Like if, if they are so much confident in their uh, case or or uh, in their uh, 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 infringement or non uh, uh, that they did not infringe the case or in, in the uh, the law or anything or the patent or anything for SCMC, 
Why are they posting uh, extinction? Why are they doing that, right? Why are they doing a motion of extinction, right? So, by doing like deep analysis and, and, and by going through a lot of material, a lot of uh, documents and a lot of like patent material and everything, we feel like this is just our thought, like which is the monopoly stock, um, and, and uh, this is just our opinion. We are not financial advisors or anything, but it's just our opinion. We feel the case can go either way, right? But due to the slim difference between the both process, hence, hence uh, both parties may like like we feel like like seeing the uh, chronological of the case uh, order of the ca uh, case uh, extension and everything. We feel that it is better for PM to settle the case out of the court, and that's what we think. Uh, is happening okay uh, this is still a victory to HCMC because because the reason why we feel this is going to be a, a victory to HCMC is because of the motion of extensions what is being put up by uh, PM and everything any favorable uh, news towards HCMC is gonna at least uh, probably take this one by 100 times the stock price right now that's what we feel in our opinion uh, so guys, uh, 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 we are invested in HCMC. As I said, as I mentioned in my previous video, I have almost like 42 million shares of HCMC, and uh, and we are big bull in this. So, anyways, uh, thanks for watching our video, and uh, and please uh, press that like button. Uh, please become a part of this uh, monopoly stocks, and uh, please uh, uh, share our video, and we'll see you next time. Peace.